Let's take a small side step again and go online and let, let's look at a real life example of such a system. So for this exercise, I've chosen to go to the website of Tesla. I'm not affiliated and I'm going to tesla.com powerwall. So here we are at the section that I want to show to you. So we're at the powerwall specifications and we're looking at the powerwall plus which is substantially different than the power wall in the previous version. And so the first value here is the amount of storage in the ESS, right? The 13.5 is the, the capacity of the, the battery pack. And when we look at the right there under inverter, the inverter is actually what I refer to as the PV charger. And you can see here that it has four separate trackers. So that's very good. So you can imagine that uh, this system has four solar charge controllers in one which leaves a lot of that creates a lot of options for uh, setting your system up in a different way so that's great and then here we can see the capacity of the inverted charger so the, the ac to dc and you can see that they have two different values for on grid it's 7.6 versus 5.8 and it says there that it depends on whether it's full sun or not which also makes sense because apparently their inverted charger can work together with their pv charger Right, so when the sun out, the PV charge is already producing a certain amount of capacity of AC power, and then an inverter works together with the AC output from the uh, solar inverter. All right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go out again. And here under backup power, you can find the other values as we discussed, the nominal versus the peak output. So you can see that the peak can be substantially higher than the continuous output. So 22 and 10 versus 9.6 and 7. And you can see again that for them also it depends on whether or not the sun is out. But you can see that the peak is substantially higher than the nominal. Now, the last value I want to point out is the warranty. So here it's indicated in years. Um, so I would recommend if you're looking for such a system, uh, always check both the warranty by means of years and also that in the cumulative amount of energy discharge because both values are relatively important. So this concludes the subchapter on the turnkey plug and play energy storage systems. So you have now walked through all the subchapters in the top.